Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to be making a pair of knife tongs. Um, I don't have any tongs for flat stock right now, so I've decided to make some and I want to show you guys how I plan on doing it. Um, I have two pieces of car coil spring prepared. Um, I want to use this material for two reasons. First of all, uh, it's got enough um, thickness to it that I think it'll be perfect for making tongs. And the second reason is because it's a very durable material when compared with something like mild steel. Um, so yeah, but without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and get to isolating the, uh, the bits, the part that actually is going to hold the metal. So as you can see, I finished uh, drawing out the tines for these uh, tongs here. What I gotta move on to now is basically doing a very similar thing to this. Um, the only difference being that instead of coming in at this side, I'm gonna isolate it this side where this uh, flattened spot here stops to make the handles. As you can see here, a uh, crack in my pieces, uh, in my piece has appeared. I'm going to go weld it shut so that it doesn't spread and crack. I had to, so I underestimated how much material I would need. I had to weld a piece of 3 8 stock and kind of square it up um, onto the end of the handle here. I'm going to go ahead and uh, kind of clean this up some more and then I'm going to do the same thing with this piece uh, drawing down the handle and then welding on that extra piece of uh, squ uh, square stock 3 8 inch square stock onto it um, so I'll come back to you guys uh, when I'm done with that and then I'm gonna actually assemble the tongs here kind of like that um, and I'll show you what the actual shape of the knife stock tongs So as you can see, I've got um, both of the pieces made up. I'm going to make this um, section here for the pin a bit bigger, kind of like this one is. And I'm going to go ahead and even out everything. And I'm going to put, um, I'm going to make these eight-sided.
much of the handle melted off again, I actually decided to forge weld a piece on this time. And it's actually um, working quite well, better than I expected. Got a little bit of a piece up here that wants to come off. I'm gonna flux it up real quick. This side of the weld worked here. Got a little delamination right there. That's okay, I don't think that's gonna affect the actual stability of the uh, weld itself. I am going to go weld it shut then just in case. Um, and then I'll actually be ready to uh, finish out these tongs. got the, um, the pieces, the two pieces for the tongs uh, ready for drilling. I'm going to go ahead and drill the holes um, and then put the pin in and then I'll shape the bit so that it actually fits flat stock. Um, and then it'll basically be done. I'll just have to make sure that the, you know, it's got good range of motion and then um, maybe flatten everything out just a little bit more, but then they'll be done. Um, so I've got the hole drilled into my, um, in each half of the tongs. I'm going to go ahead and make the rivet and put the rivet through. I'm going to put the rivet through and then um, rivet the two pieces together. And then I'll explain to you guys what I'm going to do with the tongue fits up here.
loosen it up a little bit. Now I'm going to hit the rivet again some more. Mainly for aesthetic reasons, just to flatten out the rivet. Then I have to do the same process again. Like this. I'll have to heat them up again and do the same thing one more time and then I'll be shaping the bits and that'll be it for these tongs. construction of the tongs done, I'm going to go ahead and start forging the uh, bends in the tines so that I can begin to make um, the actual shape of the, bit, uh, the tong bits uh, itself. as you can see, what I've done here is I've bent this over and curved it back onto itself. Um, I'm going to do the exact same thing on this side. Uh, it's going to come at an opposing angle to it. Um, so the um, this so like the end this end here is actually going to be on this side, um, and then I'll have to straighten it out over the horn by bending these pieces so that they line up, and then this pair of tongs will be done. So you can see that I have two slots. I want to bend them together so that they meet up, and then I can slide a piece of flat stock in between them. So as you can see, the tongs look finished. The uh, only issue I'm having is these are for giant flat stock. So I'm gonna have to cut off the ends of these and squeeze them a little bit closer together so that that way they can hold the smaller pieces for, uh, for knife tongs. Um, the smaller pieces of stock I'll be using to make knives. Uh, but once that's done. All right, so this is the finished uh, knife tongs. I still gotta do a Scotch-Brite wheel on the handle, but as you can see, it holds uh, the thick piece of um, leaf spring that I have here very well. Um, and yeah, they open and close. I mean, they work great. Um, I can also use it for bigger pieces with this design. I just have to open the tongs a little bit further. Um, and so yeah, um, this video, actually, I was very inspired by a video made by Daniel Moss. You should go check it out. Um, very good video helped me to realize what I needed to do to actually complete this project. Um, but uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, uh, leave a like and a comment, and please subscribe, um, and share this video with your friends if you think they'll be interested. It really does help me out. Thanks again. I'll see you all in the next one.